Hi, Marlon here. The PSP Piano Verb 2 is a plugin which has been around for a while. Uh, the plugin has resonant filters which mimic the sound and behavior of piano strings. Uh, in this episode, we're gonna do a review and demonstration of this unique reverb plugin. Let's start right off with a piano loop I made, which may or may not sound like a song by the band Talk Talk. The piano loop already has the reverb on it, let's hear it dry. And with reverb. It already adds a really realistic piano-esque vibe. Okay, let's go over to the controls. Let's start over here with the A section of the plugin. It has two controls, time and damp. Time is uh, the length of the reverb and damp is how much of that reverb is dampened. Next up is Transpose. This one changes the pitch of the reverb. The changing of the pitch allows for better matching of the reverb with the original sound. The Tune button allows for even more fine tuning. Uh, it also changes the pitch. It goes from minus 100 cents to plus 100 cents. So this one allows you to really fine tune it. And then we have these two buttons, modulation frequency and modulation depth. The modulation frequency sets the speed of the modulation and the modulation depth, how much it modulates. It sounds like this. So that gives you from chorus-like effects to vibrator-like effects and everything in between. Let's go to Detune. Detune detunes a few of the resonating filters of the plugin. This gives you more of that detuned piano sound. Next up is spread. Uh, spread is the stereo spread. So zero is mono and 10 is fully stereo. Next up is HPF or high pass filter, which is exactly what it does. It high passes the sound. So it cuts all the lows and thins out the sound. It high passes the frequencies. Let's go to the uh, bottom section. Uh, the way I see it is as a guitar pedal. So it has a select button. It's this one over here. 
which toggles between the A section and the B section. Uh, the A and the B section are exactly the same with the difference of this gain button for the B section. Uh, I see it as a guitar amp solo channel. Um, so if I press select, I will select the A channel and press select again, I will select the B channel with different settings. So for instance, I can set the A channel to a shorter dampened sound and the B to a long reverb with a little damping and more volume. And it will sound like this. So it really acts like a solo channel in this way uh, as with the guitar amp. Next up is the button called freeze, which does exactly what it says. It freezes the reverb. Uh, you can play a lot with it and allows for a lot of creative decisions and mixing. The third one is called Feed and this one only mutes the input to the plugin. So it does not mute the entire plugin but only what's coming into the plugin. This allows for pretty handy automation uh, and accenting of certain parts and songs. Um, I will demonstrate. <laughs> So it really accentuates certain parts and the reverb continues after you cut the feed. And then the last two buttons are these two, the dry and the wet control. Um, it sets the amount of the original signal and the amount of the reverb. Um, since I use this plugin as a send effect, I've dry to zero. And if you set the wet to five, it will be a normal output. Normally you would you want to have the dry to five and the wet to five, and then you have a normal blend of the two. But like I said, since I use this one as a send effect, I've dry to zero and the wet to five, and I control the volume of the reverb on its own channel. Let's do a little bit with snare drum. I will tweak a little bit with the reverb plugin on snare drum to demonstrate some of the possibilities. And something with the drain pipe of the drain pipe video.
as you can hear, you can get really creative with this plugin. This plugin is about uh, $49, I believe. Um, but the good news is there's also a free version. It's called PSP Piano Verb. Uh, it has a lot less controls, but it still sounds great. It's a lot simpler and it sounds a bit more clean and I use both in the mix, so the paid version and the uh, free version because I think they both have their own qualities. Um, so if you don't want to shelve out $49, get the free one, you will not be disappointed. Thank you for watching, please like this video and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you next time, bye!